Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 10 through 15. The Christian way of life. Paul wrote to Timothy, But you followed my teaching, conduct. Notice here Paul even mentioned his conduct, which goes to show that this is no hypocrite, but somebody who actually lives what he teaches. You followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, steadfastness, persecutions, and sufferings. Those things that happened to me at Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, I endured those persecutions. The Lord delivered me out of them all. How comforting that is to look back at the things that you have been through in life and say, look it, the Lord has seen me through. The Lord has delivered me out of them all. Hallelujah. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Notice here what it says and what it doesn't say. It doesn't say that just those who believe in Jesus Christ will suffer persecution. And again, it doesn't just say that those who live godly in Christ Jesus, and you know, to live godly in Christ Jesus can be a whole lot different than just saying, I believe in Christ Jesus. So it doesn't just say that, but it says all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. So then even if you just desire to live godly in Christ Jesus, Paul says here you will suffer persecution. Paul goes on, but evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you remain in the things which you have learned and have been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them. Paul talks very confidently here, telling Timothy to remain in the things which he has learned and has been assured of, knowing from whom, that is Paul himself, he has learned them. From infancy you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Now I want to read that last verse one more time because I'm going to present to you a nugget of gold here, something that will really, really open your eyes and illuminate you to exactly what Paul is talking about here. Let's read it again. Paul said to Timothy, from infancy you have known the holy scriptures. You have known the holy scriptures from infancy. Now we must assume that Timothy is an adult here. So when Paul said to Timothy, from infancy you have known the holy scriptures, what books were considered to be scripture when Timothy was a child? In fact, what books were considered to be scripture when Paul wrote this. Think about this for a moment. The books that we have in the New Testament today were not even considered to be scripture until many years after they were written. When Paul wrote this to Timothy, his personal letter to Timothy was just that. It was a personal letter. Nobody considered it to be scripture until many years later. So when Paul said to Timothy, you have known the Holy Scriptures from infancy. What Scriptures was he talking about? It certainly wasn't the New Testament Scriptures because we know that when Timothy was an infant, the New Testament wasn't even written. And even if it was written at the time that Paul wrote this letter to Timothy, it wasn't considered to be Scripture. It wasn't canonized. Nobody considered it to be the Word of God back in those days. So when Paul told Timothy that the Holy Scriptures will make you wise under salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus, it wasn't talking about the New Testament Scriptures. Think about it. This is very much like Acts chapter 17. Now, we've already done the teaching on Acts chapter 17. If you haven't watched the video, I encourage you to watch the video that I did on Acts chapter 17, especially about the Bereans, the men of Berea, that challenged Paul and that checked Paul 
fact-checked Paul on his message, on his gospel, by searching the scriptures. In those days, the New Testament wasn't even completed, let alone being called scripture. So the men of Berea in Acts chapter 17, just like Timothy here, what scriptures did they use to test Paul? The scriptures that were in existence in the days of Acts chapter 17 and here, when Paul spoke to Timothy, the scriptures that were actually considered to be holy scripture was not just the Old Testament, but it was the Septuagint, which included a lot of other books and other sacred texts as well, such as those that you would find in the Dead Sea Scrolls. These scriptures, my friend, are the scriptures that Paul is talking about. Those books of scripture that were in circulation before Jesus was even born, those were the books that were considered to be holy scripture. But I want to take your thoughts a little bit deeper here. I want you to think a little bit deeper here. Think about this for a minute. Paul is telling Timothy the scriptures that he grew up with are wise unto salvation. They will save him. They will save him through faith in Christ Jesus. And you can say, how does the Old Testament scriptures, how does the Septuagint and all these other sacred texts, how do they teach us about salvation in Christ Jesus? My friend, Jesus is the living Word of God. He is the human form of the Word of God. He is the scriptures. Jesus is the scriptures personified. He is the living, walking, talking scriptures. How did the church in the book of Acts preach the gospel of Jesus Christ? What scriptures did they use as their foundational text for the gospel? When they preached sermons in the book of Acts, when they preached salvation in the book of Acts, what text did they use as their foundation? What text did they use as their scripture to prove to the people that this is the message of God? The New Testament didn't exist back then. They used what we would call the Old Testament, the scriptures that we would find in the Septuagint, and again, other sacred texts, such as some of those that we find in the Dead Sea Scrolls. They preached Jesus from these texts. Think about when Philip was preaching to the eunuch, and he was preaching about Jesus. He used Isaiah to preach about Jesus. You see, the scriptures in the so-called Old Testament is all about Jesus. If you're Jesus is not compatible with the Old Testament, you've got the wrong Jesus. We are mining a wonderful, wonderful nugget of spiritual gold here. Paul is encouraging Timothy to go to the Holy Scriptures, what we would call the Old Testament, for salvation and for learning of the faith of Jesus Christ. As I always seek God with all your heart, and if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.